I uh, want to say that, you know, in real life, I mean, you, you spoke about uh, the Israel uh, issue. Look, in a way, how different the pulls and pressures can be. On the one hand, what happened on October 7th was terrorism. On the other hand, nobody would, uh, you know, countenance the deaths of innocent civilians. Countries may be, uh, may be uh, justified, at least in their own minds, in responding. But you cannot have a response which does not, uh, uh, you know, uh, I mean, every response must take into account something called international humanitarian law. And the fact is that whatever the rights and wrongs of the issue, there is the underlying issue of the rights of the Palestinians and the fact that they have been denied their homeland. So, I mean, I'm taking that one issue and I've given you five different aspects of that issue. And somewhere a solution cannot be that I will pick two out of the five and leave three because you will not get a solution out of that. So, uh, the, the point is, you know, all of us who are in the, uh, I would say, the policy world who have to take those calls, we, st you know, much of our challenge is how do you get this balance right? That uh, we are today still one of the countries who are in a position, you know, where I, I go back to India tomorrow, I have the foreign minister of Ukraine visiting me uh, the day after that. We have also been the country who have uh, the opportunity to talk to the Russians very frankly and bluntly on this issue. On different aspects, you know, others have used us to pass messages. And by the way, the same thing applies when it comes to the Gaza-Israel uh, conflict as well. So, uh, I, I put it to you today, it's, this is not an issue of a moral cop-out. This is an issue today of appreciating that real life actually has a whole lot of complexities and that the uh, considered answers, the, the sustainable answers cannot be uh, very angular. They cannot pick some facets to the exclusion of other facets.